Update 1.2 features several important changes. Here's a quick overview. Rebalance preferential premium tanks. Empire's Border, a new map set in Asia. Highway and Wide Park return in HD quality. Balance changes to five other maps. The launch of the third part of new personal missions. Now let's get down to details. Preferential premiums have been one of the hottest topics among the community. To better understand current changes and steps moving forward, we must go back. Prior to update 9.18, the matchmaker's task was to form teams as quickly as possible. Quickness was a crucial factor. After 9.18, templates were introduced. These were a 3-5-7 formation, where a tank could appear at the top, in the middle, or at the bottom of the list. A 5-10 format, with a chance to be in one of the two tiers present. Simply a one-tier battle. These templates were designed to form balanced teams. The key advantage of preferential premiums is that they never take on enemies two tiers higher. However, it turns out that for most battles, they were battling their tier mates or higher. This was an issue as preferential premiums were designed to have lower overall combat effectiveness than their tier mates. While they were designed like this to account for their preferential matchmaking status as they don't see tier 10, over time these tanks have become less and less competitive. Our first instinct was to remove the preferential status completely and improve these tanks' combat effectiveness by leveling them against regular Tier 8 vehicles. We tested this approach with the KV-5, but soon discovered that the preferential status was critical for players. After this, we went back to the drawing board and worked on a new plan. Let's get into it. This is a two-part plan that includes improving preferential vehicles and an in-depth rework of the matchmaker. Improving the characteristics of the preferential premiums took place internally over three stages. The first stage was all about narrowing the gap of combat effectiveness between the preferential tanks. After all, they all have their own playstyles, so each vehicle underwent unique adjustments. Throughout the entire process, we had one primary goal. The unique gameplay style of each vehicle must be preserved. The second stage focused on improving the efficiency of preferential premiums and adjusting their characteristics to make them more effective with their non-preferential tier mates. We then analyzed the impact of our changes on vehicles' performance. After much testing, we reached our desired outcome for these special vehicles. In battles with Tier 8 and 9 tanks, the reworked preferential tanks came close to performing like premium vehicles without preferential status. The third stage was short but sweet, so you could get into battle quicker. It was all about fine-tuning specs and polishing the changes made. As it stands, we're through the first part and ready to proceed with the improvements to the matchmaker, which we're actively working on. But if you roll out with your preferential premiums right now, you'll notice the difference. You can also find detailed information on each of these vehicles' changes on the portal right now. As for the matchmaker improvements, we'll be releasing another video detailing those changes soon, so stay tuned. The new Empire's Border map makes its debut in Update 1.2. On this map, players in Tier 4 or higher vehicles fight for victory against the backdrop of the Great Wall of China. In addition to standard battles, it will host assault and encounter combat. Empire's Border is a large map encouraging complex tactical maneuvers. Heavies will want to head towards the map's southwest area, while tank destroyers will feel right at home on both flanks, finding plenty of places to cover allies. The shelter and cover of the center and northeast areas of the map will benefit light and medium tanks, with faster vehicles having the opportunity to break through enemy lines and change the course of battle. Alongside the new map, Wide Park and Highway maps return after being reworked in HD. Tiers 4 through 6 will battle it out on Wide Park, while Highway plays host to vehicles of Tier 4 and higher. But fans of these maps needn't worry. While their appearance has been overhauled, the gameplay remains the same.
These reworked HD maps are stunning to look at, but let's talk about the rebalancing on other maps. On Redshire, we've added a tank destroyer position for the northern team, opposite the airship. Prior to this change, only the southern team's vehicles could support their allies without being noticed. On Paris, we've changed bushes near the western base in square C1 to be similar to the eastern base. For Runeburg, we've changed the layout of houses and mounds at the central intersection, adjusted the house layout near the top team on the ring, and rearranged nearly all buildings in the small city. In addition, we've removed some battlefield objects and adjusted the starting positions for both teams. On Overlord, we adjusted the relief on the greenery to better balance the shoot-throughs for both teams and positions. Changes were also made to the height of the hills in the eastern part of the map and the arrangement of pillboxes in the center. On Sand River, we added a route to climb the hill near the western base. From there, you'll find a beautiful yet strategic view of the central ditch and dunes. Also, the edge of the cliff, as well as the shelf on the western base, were slightly lowered to improve the shooting between the ditch and the dunes. This update isn't just about tank balancing and maps. We're also ready to roll out the third part of personal missions. This new set of missions offers the monstrous Object 279 early for those that prove their mettle plus plenty of credits and other goodies along the way. As part of the new operation, there are three types of task. The first require fulfilling conditions through a series of battles. The second allow several attempts, while the third track your progress across multiple battles. You'll also find an option to pause your progress if you need a break. Your battle results won't be counted again until you choose to restart your progress. Want the Tier 10 Object 279 early in your garage? Then roll out into battle and show what you are capable of. Good luck!